For my eco-industrial park, I traveled to Kalenborg, Denmark. Denmark as a whole is on the cutting edge of sustainability. They plan to run entirely on renewable energy by 2050, and their capital is 10,000 kilometers of bike paths. So it comes as no surprise that the country is one of the first and best eco-industrial parks in the world. The park is named Kalenborg Symbiosis and is no small feat. The park includes the world's largest producer of insulin and also the world's largest producer of enzymes providing a great example for other large international companies that they can be just as sustainable. Together, 10 partners from Kallenberg Symbiosis work together to accomplish various economic and environmental challenges. Your success begins with Lake Tiso and the use of a 12-kilometer-long pipeline created in 1961 through a public-private partnership, the type of partnership necessary for such projects to originate and persist. The surface water is used for cooling and production at four of the companies in the park. From the lake, water flows to Kallenberg Utility, which delivers surface water to the partners of Kallenberg Symbiosis. There is also a water treatment plant at Kallenberg Utility, which processes wastewater from the park, as well as households and companies located in the city of Kallenberg, which is then distributed as potable water and district heating back to companies and households in Kallenberg City. In more ways the park helps the city of Kallenberg through the company Orsted, which produces steam, electricity, and heat by using steam to drive turbines that help the power grid of the park. The residual heat from this production is then used for district heating to the city. Another way the park helps citizens of Kallenberg is from fly ash, which is a residual from coal burning at Orsted, and an ingredient in cement. The residual fly ash from Orsted is provided to the local cement industry. Park's partners also work great together to limit the waste of resources between all. A big proponent of limiting waste at the park is the partner Argo, a waste management company. On a yearly basis, they receive 13,000 tons of newspaper and cardboard, which are sold to cardboard and other paper-consuming industries located nearby in Europe. Also, they receive 15,000 tons of garden-slash-park refuse that is reused to better the soil in the city of Collenberg. Novozymes, the largest producer of enzymes in the world, helps lower waste by taking advantage of Lake Tiso and using processed steam and treated surface water that comes from the lake. Leftovers from the production at Novozymes become NovoGrow 30 fertilizer, and spent process of water is used to produce biogas and electricity. This occurs at Novozymes' also own wastewater and biogas plant at the park, which utilizes the residuals of production to produce electricity, heat, and high-value fertilizer. Not just their own waste, however. Ethanol waste from Novo Nordisk, the largest producer of insulin in the world, is converted into biogas at Novozymes plant. Kallenberg Symbiosis clearly demonstrates a great idea of sustainability, boasting an annual reduction of CO2 emissions by 635,000 tons, and how economic success and environmental success don't have to be mutually exclusive. The park also shows that instead of governments and businesses warring against each other, it is much more effective for the two large forces to communicate freely with one another. Although there can still be improvements made to the park, most importantly public transportation near Kallenberg Symbiosis. The location prevents easy access to public transportation, having just one stop in the nearby vicinity. There is also no clear highway near the industrial park, preventing access to the capital, Copenhagen, and other industrious cities nearby. Together, the symbiosis must invest in more public transit in the area and a high-speed rail to get to Copenhagen. Doing so will promote more interaction with investors and similar companies promoting growth in the park. Also, while providing the city with extra heat and electricity, socially, it doesn't appear Kallenberg has any existence. This failure to exist in such an important area hurts the passion the community will have for Kallenberg symbiosis. I think with the large amount of employees they have, it would be easy to start a Facebook page to promote events for citizens to come to the park. Doing so will promote the city to be more sustainable through being inspired by the industrial park, and it will also get existing citizens to want to work for the park, promoting multipliers for the local economy, while also creating a reliable workforce that will stay for generations to come.